Okay guys, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya Wa mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Rabbi syrah li sadri wa yasir li amri Wa halil umratan bin lithani Ya fukahu kawli amma ba' Right class, so uh, let's continue our lessons On uh, introductions to immunology and last week, I stopped until uh, cell of the immune system. So today, I'm going to give a brief, brief explanations on cell of the immune system. What cells involve in immune system, what organs involve in immune system, and, and how uh, the system, the mechanism of the systems uh, that trigger the, uh, the immune response, right? So we'll cover it uh, today on this slide. And this is the basically of uh, the, the diagram of uh, actually it, this is the white blood cell, lah, right? White blood cells of immune system. So it come uh, from uh, the same place which is in the bone, ma bone, bone marrow, and from from bone, bone marrow, it will uh, divide into three. Uh, common uh, progenitor which is uh, the first one is uh, lymphoid progenitor and second one is myeloid progenitor and uh, the last one is erythroid uh, progenitor and uh, basically uh, erythroid will make an erythroblast erythroblast will make erythrocyte which is a red blood cell lah. okay but then these two uh, lymphoid and uh, myeloid is basically we produce a white blood cells okay so this is the white blood white blood cell punya uh, group lah okay it consists of neutrophils uh, eosinophils basophils and monocyte and there is a unknown uh, precursor that will trigger a mast cell so we'll touch in later what is unknown precursor lah right and on the other part is directly from the lymphoid progenitor they produce a B cell and T cell and later on from B cell and T cell will develop a plasma cell affected T cells and directly uh, NK cells okay so all of this is a white blood cell lah. and uh, last week there is uh, one of your friend asked um, is the white blood cell a uh, white blood cell comes into an, uh, how to say it? innate immunity of acquired uh, immunity so to answer those questions is uh, white blood cell basically involved in both uh, non-specific immunity and specific specific immunity where in innate uh, we, we uh, in the non-specific immunity uh, this group will involve but then in specific immunity, this group will, in, will be involved. All right, I will touch, the, uh, will touch uh, all those uh, uh, details on the uh, next slides later on. Okay, so uh, basically white blood cell or known as leukocyte contain a nucleus, all right? Lack of hemoglobin and colorless cytoplasm. So this is a very basic fundamentals. Uh, information of white blood cell as compared to, uh, mm, to a red blood cell which is doesn't contain any nucleus at all and the leukocytes fall into two main categories depending on the appearance of the nuclei and the presence or absence of granule in the cytoplasm when viewed uh, micro, uh, microscopically so it means that uh, to characterize the white blood cell you have to see in two ways Right. The first way is the the appearance or the 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 shape of the nucleus itself, and the second one, either there is a presence or absence of granule in the white blood cells. Okay, so uh, neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils are ca character char categorized as fol polyformal polymorphonucleic uh, granulocytes right tongue twisted nuclei are segmented into several lobes and cytoplasm contain abundance of granules so means that kalau tengok kat sini white blood cells right 
uh, it contains a poly uh, morphonuclear granulocytes means that they are the granules all right presence of granule and if you can see alma in color you talk question you got nuclei are segmented all right nuclei uh, basically dalam neutrophil eosinophil and basophil uh, all of them are have segmented uh, uh, nucleus whereas in monocyte and lymphocytes are known as a mononuclear agronolocytes means that both have a single large non segmented nucleus and few or less granules okay so kalau kita tengok dekat dalam uh, monocyte or lymphocyte dia ni uh, dia tak ada segmented all right it consists of one big nuclear lah and some of them have a granule and uh, uh, most of them tak ada granule lah Right, and this is examples of uh, white blood cells when you observe it under microscope. Microscope. Uh, I think you have done this uh, during your diploma times or masa awal degree dulu. Right? I'm not really sure. And if you can see here, actually you can distinguish. Uh, yang mana satu lymphocyte, mana satu monocyte, mana satu eosinophil, mana satu neutrophil, mana satu basophil based on uh, their appearance lah, alright, you have uh, under microscope you can dye the loose sample blood you, then baru you boleh observe it under microscope right, so let's go to the first uh, white blood cell which is neutrophil, alright, neutrophil so neutrophil ni basically uh, show no dyes or no preference under uh, microscope. Okay, kalau kita tengok kat sini kan, uh, uh, neutro neutrophil, okay, and it granulated cytoplasm is stained with a both acidic and basic dye, which is which mean kalau kita pakai acidic dye pun, alright. Kalau ada pakai uh, uh, base dye pun, dua-dua dia boleh ambil. Okay, warna merah pun dia boleh ambil, warna biru pun dia boleh ambil. So, dia tak ada preference, uh, preference dye yang dia boleh absorb. Okay. And then, of course, uh, neutrophil ni, the granulated, have a granulated cytoplasm as I mentioned before. And, neutrophil is most abundant white blood cell consisting of 70 to 60 to 70 percent of leukocyte family lah. Okay, dalam uh, white blood cell ni, neutrophil ni, uh, apa ni, uh, white blood cell yang paling besar lah. Okay, consists of 60 percent to 70 percent of leukocyte family. And they defense against bacteria and fungi infections uh, through phagocytosis. So, means that, uh, the main mechanism of neutrophil is phagocytosis and uh, the, the target, all right, the main target of neutrophil is bacteria and fungal infection. So, kalau ada uh, bacteria and fungal infections, uh, neutrophil akan uh, undergo uh, phagocytosis. They can phagocyte, phagocytes all the uh, bacteria and fungus, okay. And uh, neutrophil ni, they live for only a few hours or up until a few days lah. Okay, sebab tu, uh, it not adapted for sustained battle. So, means that they hanya, uh, how to say, macam uh, immediate response, right? So, immediate response. And it always associate, associated with pus and inflammation. So, kalau you tengok, kalau ada inflammation, so ada bengkak-bengkak and then ada, ada nanah warna hijau right, so that ones uh, is cons uh, mesti ada uh, presence of neutrophil okay, and neutrophil ni in term of size is actually uh, the second biggest uh, white blood cell dalam dalam family of white blood cell because the, the size is uh, between 10 to 12 uh, micrometer Okay, ada yang lagi besar daripada, daripada neutrophil. Okay, then the next one is eosinophil, right? So, it's granulated cytoplasm is stained with acid dye eosin red. Okay, so eosinophil ni, kalau you tengok ni, eosinophil ni, right? Dia warna dia merah. Right? Warna dia merah sebab apa? Sebab dia, 
dia 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 uh, dia punya preference is uh, acidic dye kita panggil sebagai eosin red so ada orang ada orang cakap juga eosinophil ni disebabkan daripada nama dye tu eosin red which is acidic lah okay and uh, it composed of uh, 2 to 4% of the white blood cell uh, that can be counted uh, uh, i mean the 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 the, the the counts can be fluctuate uh, seasonally and during uh, most seasonal pompana during uh, menstruation okay so macam that neutrophil study <coughs> the punya counts nearly to 60 to 70 percent but then eosinophil ni the punya count is only 2 to 4 percent lah alright tapi dalam 2 to 4 2 to 4 percent ni pun the punya counts is very fluctuates because it depends on the uh, seasonal and also menst uh, menstruation so, uh, among female okay so it also active in response to allergic all right pa uh, parasitic infections and collagen disease and etc okay and you see no you see no fields are less active in terms of the phagocyte functions of course lah dia 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 tak macam neutrophil ni tadi sebab apa sebab eosinophil ni the main business dia ialah dealing with uh, parasitic infections alright macam tick worms ataupun uh, daun panggil cacing kerawit alright so how do eosinophil de de uh, defense our body by secretions of Uh, enzymes all right there is an enzyme a chemical enzyme that can kill the uh, parasites instantaneously lah okay and the diameter of eosinophil ni basically sama macam neutrophil juga uh, is around 10 to 12 uh, micrometer okay and the next one is basophil Basophils, a granulated cytoplasm is stained with a basic dye methylene blue. Okay, methylene blue. Yang macam kalau eosinophil tadi, dia prefer uh, untuk acidic dye. Yeah, eosin red dye. Kalau neutrophilic, neutrophile, neutroph, uh, neutroph, neutrophile tadi, dia tak ada preference. Right? Uh, basic dia boleh, acidic pun dia boleh. Okay? And least numerous and most poorly understood of the leukocyte, of course. Okay, sebab apa? Sebab dia punya compositions of basophil ni kat dalam uh, uh, white blood cell punya family is around less than 0.5%. Alright, sangat rendah. Okay. And basophil differ from eosinophils and neutrophil in that they are not phagocyte. So, dia bukan adalah dalam group neutrophil ataupun eosinophil which is tak perform any phagocytosis at all. But then, they synthesize and store histamine involved in allergic reactions and inflammation as well as increase and magnify in an immune response. So, basophil ni tadi, it have ability to secret, uh, secret out Uh, histamines or uh, apa lagi satu tu saya lupa nama dia uh, lemak tak pernah tengok saya kemudian tahu semula alright so uh, synthesis and store histamine so histamine ni when there is infections alright So it will release histamines to the environment, basophil tadi. So the function of histamines is basically to uh, dilate the blood vessels, mean that it give uh, a, a bigger uh, 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 increase the diameter of blood vessel, so that banyak blood boleh uh, transfer to that particular uh, uh, I mean spot, the, the infection spots, okay. And basophil ni actually is the biggest white blood cell uh, in size lah. Alright, the size can go from 12 to 15 micrometer lah. Alright, compared to neutrophil and compared to uh, eosinophils. Alright, basophil have a higher uh, 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 diameter in size right? in white blood cell family. Right, next is uh, monocytes and macrophage. Okay, kalau you tengok kat sini tadi. Okay. 
So, dia ada monocyte. From monocyte, dia akan jadi uh, macrophage. Okay. So, monocyte or macrophage, uh, the largest uh, leukocytes. Alright. Of course, the largest leukocyte lah. Kalau compare pada basophil ni tadi. Okay. And uh, profession, profession dia adalah phagocyte. Kerja dia memang do phagocytosis sahaja. Okay. Normally, the number of monocytes circulating in the blood is quite small. It increases during infections. Okay, during normal conditions, monocyte ni tadi uh, will circulate uh, circulate uh, in the blood lah. But then, very uh, low concentrations. Okay, but then when there is infections, all right, they migrate out into the tissue and differentiate into macrophage produce a granule within themselves. Okay, monocyte ni tadi, it can say that when there is no infections, alright, we uh, circulate uh, along the way with the blood. So, in this situation, we can say that monocyte is not maturing. Okay, but then when there is a, 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 a chemotactic fa factors that have been released from the damaged site, okay, Baru monocyte tu tadi akan migrate out into the tissue that can uh, uh, differentiate lah. In other words, matured and become a macrophage. Right? Macrophage with a granule. Monocyte tadi ada tak ada granule. But then when dia jadi macrophage, baru dia ada granules. Okay. Uh, they can recognize in gulf, blah, blah, blah. And they also function in wound healing, tissue repair and bone remodeling. The process and antigen to be recognized by T cell. Okay, another functions of macrophage is that it can recognize an antigens and it can bring the antigens into the lymph nodes. Okay, and take kita akan sentuh about the lymph nodes, where in lymph node there is a place where T cell and B cell uh, concentrations of T cell and B cells are higher in lymph nodes. So, bila macrophage ni bawa dekat lymph nodes tu tadi, baru T-cell ni boleh uh, do a re reaction lah against the antigens. Okay. And the secret uh, cytokines for various roles in immune system. So, cytokines ni is like uh, a proteins uh, involved in uh, signaling, cell signaling. Where kalau... Uh, there is uh, a problems occur in one side. Contohnya dekat kaki, right? Then the macrophage tadi, after it reach there, it will release a cytokines to call other tentera-tentera untuk datang. Okay? So, it is a, pro a signal protein uh, in the cell. Okay, <laughs> next, uh, we go to lymphocytes, alright? Lymphocyte. Hmm... So, this is the lymphocyte. Ni neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, monocytes. Okay? Monocyte ni tukar jadi macrophage. And this is the lymphocyte. Okay, lymphocyte is the smallest leukocyte. Right? Circulate in the blood and lymph and are able to migrate into the tissue space and lymphoid organs. Okay, uh, Limbs tissue and lymphoid organ, I will cover it later at the ends of, uh, mostly at the ends of this uh, slide. And it provides immune defense against targets for which there are specifically programs. Okay, so lymphocyte ni is uh, actually is uh, involved in specific immune system. Okay, kalau yang tadi uh, use apa ni, basophil, eosinophil dengan uh, uh, neutrophil and macrophage, it's involved in uh, non-specific uh, immune system. Okay, but then lymphocyte ni tadi, it's involved in specifics. Okay, and types of lymphocytes, it consists of uh, B cells, T cells, and NK, uh, uh, a natural killer cell. Right, first let's go to the B cell. B cell is the first discovered in Bursa, or Fabricius, uh, primary lymphoid organ in the birds. Okay, so primary lymphoid organ ni is actually, uh, we can call it a bone marrow lah. Alright, bone marrow, when uh, B cell is matured and uh, created in the bone marrow. Okay, 
They produce antibody circulate in the blood and are responsible for antibody mediated and humoral uh, immunity. Okay, so B cell ni tadi, it, it can be, uh, be uh, curate uh, and undergo maturations in the bone marrow lah. Okay, and T cells uh, been created in bone marrow as well but after being created it will transfer into the thymus thymus uh, is the place where the t-cell to become mature lah. so t uh, thymus ni is located uh, belakang kita punya sternum right uh, kita punya tulang rangka rusuk kiri dan kanan tengah-tengah tu ada sternum and belakang sternum tu ada thymus okay and two subpopulations of T cell is T helper cell and T cytosines or killer cell lah with T cell, yani T H cell, T H cells. Okay, T cell directly destroy the specific target cell by releasing chemicals that punch a hole on the target cells and process called cell mediated immunity. Okay, kalau kat B cell ni tadi responsible for antibody mediated or humoral immunity because T cell is cell mediated immunity okay both have a different mechanism lah okay which is nanti dalam chapter seterusnya you akan belajar uh, uh, in details about uh, mechanisms of B cell and the T cell okay next is NK cells a large and content, content granules constitutes of 5% to 10% of uh, lymph, uh, lymphocytes in human peripheral blood do not have any antigen specific receptor thus are a part of innate immune system okay even though nk cell ni tergolong dalam kumpulan lymphocyte which is activate uh, in the specific immune response but then NK cell ni, they don't have any antigen specific receptor. So, which is not, uh, which uh, NK cell cannot entitle uh, a specific immune system, uh, response, immune system response. So, that's why they go along dalam innate immune system. Okay. They kill viral infected cell and tumor cell through apoptosis. So, NK cell ni akan uh, menyebabkan uh, the infected cell undergo apoptosis so that so for example the cell be infected by virus and nk cell ni will trigger a signal that can, that cause the infected cell to undergo apoptosis so pecah lah okay <clears throat> so this is the summary diagrams of innate immunity and adaptive immunity so non-specifics and specifics respond Okay, so innate immunity is very rapid response lah, as I discussed uh, last week, right? But then in adaptive immunity, is, uh, I can say it's slow response because you have to, you know, uh, develop some antibodies against the specific uh, uh, diseases, okay? Uh, then uh, this is an exercise yang you boleh try lah. Okay, so ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Which uh, Apa ni Mana satu neutrophil Mana satu eosinophil Mana satu basophil Alright, mana satu lymphocytes And mana satu mono monocytes Okay, ni pun yang boleh buat nanti Right, then uh, Mast cell, okay Mast cell, what is mast cell? Kalau you tengok dekat dalam ni tadi ya. Lama tak ada ke? Kalau you tengok tadi, uh, mast cell ni, kalau monocyte ni tadi, monocyte ni uh, uh, yang belum matured lah, alright, yang di circulate around in the, in the blood. Tapi kalau dia dah uh, diffuse outside the blood vessel, pergi dekat tissue, dia akan jadi macro, macrophage. Okay, dalam mast cell ni, dia ada unknown precursor, right? So, it been... Uh, uh, I speculate that mast cell ni is, is it actually come from basophil. So basophil ni tadi uh, in the states of uh, tak matured lagi when it 
undergo the recruitment or be sent to the tissue, damaged tissue, baru dia akan jadi mature and become a mass mass cell. So that one, uh, dia punya, apa orang kata tu, uh, one of the theory lah. But then it tak prove lagi lah. Orang kata one of the theory is actually mass cells is from the basophil. Okay, so mass cell, uh, kalau you perasan, uh, basof, uh, yang cakap tadi, basophil tadi, okay, dia uh, boleh, uh, apa ni, release histamine, alright? Sama juga macam mass cell. Mass cell boleh juga release histamine and yeah, heparin, alright? Heparin. So, if you can see here, mass cells and uh, basophil tadi have the same features. Both can synthesize and store histamine and heparin. Okay? And really involve in allergic reactions. Okay? And next is uh, dendritic cells, right? Participate in both innates by phagocytosis and the adaptive by uh, antigen-presenting cell immune response. So, then, uh, dendritic cell ni, they body work in two, uh, in both, lah, both uh, uh, stage, which is innate, uh, body pun the body, uh, it can perform phagocytosis. And it also in adaptive. Adaptive ni tadi, it need another cell. It needs, uh, how to say, uh, recognize the antigens and present the antigens to the T cell or B cell. Okay. They have a long membranous extension that resemble the dendrites of the nerves, nerve fibers. Okay, what we talk ni, the long membranous extensions. And located in the skin and mucosal tissue associated with rough, uh, roots of the pathogens entry, such as the oral, respiratory, and genit geni genital uh, mucus. They help to trigger the adaptive immune uh, response and migrate to lymph nodes upon activations. Okay, kalau you, nanti kat uh, bawah-bawah ni tadi, I can cerita kat you about the lymph node lah. Lymph node ni where a place that B cell and T cell are concentrated. Okay, so uh, dendritic cell ni boleh juga migrate dekat lymph nodes. So that's why uh, dendritic ni can consider as a part of adaptive immune response. Okay, next let's go to tissue organs of the immune system. Okay, so first let's go to a lymphoid organ. What is a lymphoid organ? Lymphoid organ are certain organs, respectively parts of the tissue, right? Parts of the tissue in which lymphocytes can differentiate and pro proliferate. They are part of the lymphatic system. Okay, to lymphoid organ. But then what is a uh, lymphatic system, right? Lymphatic system is uh, an uh, organ system in vertebrate that is a part of circulating system and immune system. Okay. And comprising a network of lymphatic vessels that carry a clear fluid called lymph directly towards the heart. So, dekat dalam tissue organ gaming system ni is involve lymphoid organs and lymphatic system. Lymphatic system ni, it consists of network lah. Alright, dia macam uh, blood vessel lah. Okay. <coughs> and kalau blood vessel tu, it carry blood. Tapi dalam lymphatic system ni, it carry a clear fluid called lymph. Okay. <coughs> so, dalam lymphatic organs ni, uh, it divides into two groups which is the first one is primary and the second one second one is secondary so in primary limbs organ they are bone marrow and thymus okay so ni ni yang primary yang paling penting lah bone marrow ni tadi it create both b cell and t cells and a place where b cell can be matured where thymus ni tadi t cell uh, can be matured lah dekat thymus ni tadi okay and secondary lymphatic organs are site where most immune response occur. Okay, contoh dekat dalam dekat uh, lymph nodes, including the spleen and lymph nodes and other lymphoid tissue such as tonsil. Okay, so tonsil ni tadi uh, can be con uh, categorized as a lymphoid tissue. Okay. 
so uh, this is uh, uh, how to say? the com not comparison lah. I can say the comp boleh lah comparison lah. jadual comparisons uh, between uh, red blood cell, white blood cell, platelets, protein, water dissolve uh, dissolve solutes that can be found in blood plasma, tissue fluids, or in lymph. Okay, for example, the first one is red blood cell. Lah. So, red, red blood cell, yeah, you have blood plasma. And tissue fluid, they don't have any tissue fluids as compared to white blood cell. Lah. Okay, and it doesn't appear in the lymph. Okay, dekat dalam lymph, tak ada red blood cell. A red blood cells are too big to get through capillary walls into tissue fluids. Okay. Kalau white blood cells, they uh, boleh uh, present in blood plasma, also can present in uh, tissue fluids and in lymph. Okay, dekat dalam lymph lah, a clear fluid tadi. So, most white blood cells are in the lymph systems only enter tissue fluid when there are infections. So, means that kalau ada infection tu tadi, baru dihantar keluar. So, tissue fluids ini, uh, actually our cells, alright, cells or tissue in between two, they are the fluids. So, that 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 fluid we call a tissue fluids. Kalau dalam blood plasma ni, kat dalam, dalam blood vessel lah. But then limb ni tadi kat dalam uh, uh, lymphatic system. Okay, platelets jumpa dalam blood plasma but then not in tissue fluid and not in limbs. Only present in the tissue fluid if the capillary are damaged. So, bila capillary to damage tadi, baru platelet so boleh keluar. Protein uh, present in blood plasma, very few found in tissue fluids and Founds also in limbs, but then only only in antibody forms. Okay, so selain daripada antibodies, tak ada kat dalam uh, lymphatic system. And water appear in all three dissolved solute also appear in uh, both three lah. Okay, right next uh, bone marrow. Okay, bone marrow. Bone marrow produce blood cells, red blood cells, or white blood cells, both. Okay, sites of maturational processing for B cells. B cell that red with the cell of the body is removed in the bone marrow, it will not enter the circulations. And where the thymus bilobe shape located in the uh, thoracic cavity superior to the heart, means that at atas for the heart to tadi, are the thymus okay thymus are smaller in adult than in uh, are smaller in adult than in child okay during childhood thymus tu besar sebab apa sebab masih kecil uh, apa ni uh, the immune system is developing so that thymus tu besar tapi bila dah adults kita punya apa ni immune system tu makin lama makin uh, lemah right so that thymus tu makin lama makin kecil Right, sites of maturational processing for T cell, T cell that show ability to which with with cells of the body will die in the thymus. Okay, and T cell that can properly attack the pathogen will leave the thymus. So, kadang thymus ini macam rumah lah untuk T cell. For those yang uh, tamat CJ latihan untuk berperang, baru dia boleh hantar keluar daripada thymus untuk uh, attack the pathogen. But for those yang tak dapat sijil, tak tamatkan krusus, it will stay live in thymus and akan you know uh, uh, mati kata mati dalam dalam uh, rasa kemaluan rasa malu lah, not rasa malu Okay, next is lymph nodes. Alright, lymph nodes filter limbs that move through the cavities. Uh, macrophage will, will engulf the pathogens and debris. Lymphocyte will fight infections and attack cancer cell. Okay, malah aku nak terang tadi. Okay, uh, kat sini tadi, okay. Kalau you tengok kat sini, alright. The green one is lymph capillary. Okay. 
and the red and the blue one is the blood vessel okay so apa ni uh, limbs tu tadi actually will actually limbs come from both all right so a uh, vessel blood vessel tadi so that can diffuse out and goes into the tissue all right so panggil dia tadi tissue fluids all right so the play tissue fluid tu tadi ia akan diffuse in kat dalam lymph capillary dia akan masuk dalam lymph capillary pula tadi all right all the uh, lymph ni yang clear fluid tadi is consists of uh, uh, apa ni waste products okay cellular debris together uh, along with bacteria Okay, they can diffuse masuk dalam limb capillary. So, once it's entered the limb capillary, it have to undergo a lymph nodes for filtrations. Okay, and dekat situ jugalah the locations where B cell and T cell will be activated. Okay, sebab apa? Sebab pathogen semua akan dibawa dekat limb nodes tadi. So, uh, whenever... You have an infection. So, kalau you demam ke whatsoever ke demam sangat kuat, you akan perasan along the limb top tu tadi akan swell, akan bengkak. Okay? So, the bengkak is actually a symptoms that your immune system works well. Okay, sebab apa? Sebab they are fighting the, the infections in your body. Okay, next is a spleen, alright? Spleen, a soft blood-rich organ located at the upper left regions of the abdom abdominal cavity. It filter blood that pass through the cavities, alright? Macrophage will engulf the pathogens and debris. So, dekat, dekat spleen tadi, macrophage also will be activated. And this is lymphatic nodes, okay? The, uh, lymphatic nodes are actually the same as uh, limb nodes tadi lah, alright? Cuma dia ada a little bit difference because it's not surrounded by the capsule. Okay, tonsil. Tonsil is example of uh, lymphatic tissue. All right, uh, patches of lymphatic tissue located in the rings above the pharynx. So pharynx ni tadi kat belakang ni lah. Kat kita punya akum tu kat ada satu lane uh, line between the cavity. So we call pharynx all right so the first organ that encounter pathogen that enter body through nose and mouth okay through hidung ataupun mulut uh, tonsil adalah the first organ all right the first tissue you encounter the pathogen okay <coughs> so selalunya kita bila demam ke batuk semua ke kita yang tonsil akan bengkak merah Alright, so that, that the signs of our immune system works well. And the last one is pear patches. Alright, pear patches located at the intestinal wall and tissue within the appendix. Encounter uh, pathogens that enter body through intestinal tract, resemble tonsil in the structure. So pear patches ni, they located kat bawah kita punya intestinal wall. Bentuk the the follicle bentuk follicle bentuk macam oval macam tu okay <coughs> and salt mark what is salt and mark all right salt is skin associated lymphoid tissue where mark is mucosa associated lymphoid tissue a small concentration of lymphoid tissue found in various sites of the body such as the gastrointestinal tract thyroid breast lungs salivary glands eyes and skin Function there is filter antigen from the sites. Okay, macam ni lah uh, kita punya in immune system, the first response. Okay, it function to filter antigen from the sites. Okay, this is test yourself activity. Okay, ni dah lama lah, dalam uh, test uh, final exam December 2008. Maybe you can try. Kita tak tahu masuk ke tidak lagi untuk this semester kan. Okay, I think that's it for this class. Okay. So, if you have any questions or any doubt, apa yang tak faham, you can uh, ask me through WhatsApp and I will try to answer, uh, my best to answer the questions. 
and hope to see you guys on the next sessions. Alright, till then, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Stay safe.